Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Hmm, they're assessing the situation, trying to find things that taste yummy for Pixie. Tiny side treat, okay? Oh my, oh. You're gonna have a side treat and you gotta choose from these three. Oh, you gotta pick one. Okay, tell her to sit. S yep, sit. Now wait. Wait. Put them down on the ground. Wait. So we have beef jerky. Beef long recipe. Jerky bites. Salmon, salmon bites, mm -hmm. and chicken bites. And you're gonna let her pick which one she wants. Which one? Which one? <coughs> oh, she says this one first. Which one will she lick first? Oh. But we got some jerky bites. Are we gonna use the jerky bites as a side? Now we're gonna do the tasty test. Taste test. Where we're gonna get each. One of these, and then which of the ones she goes to first. Oh. Chose the bag, so, let's tell everybody what we're doing. We're actually making pixel treats. Yes. Yep. Pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin treats. And then pumpkin treats. We had left. One, and then it's going to be the side for her pumpkin. So, we had leftover pumpkin puree, and Chelsea's wanting to make Pixie her own um, treats, her own puppy treats. And she's wanting to add ingredients like peanut butter and these other treats and maybe some kibble. Uh, yeah, tell her what to do. Wait. There you go. Wait. Spread them out. Wait. I bet she just gobble, gobble, gobbles when you let her. Go. <gasps> that one. Oh. Interesting. Okay, which one was that? This one. <clears throat> we got the chicken. The chicken. Clucky, yummies, chicken. So these so, are all from the bark What box. was the first one that she chose first? This one? No, I thought it was that one. No. Oh, yeah, but like you said, it has peanut butter on the corner, so you think that's why she picked oh, it. <laughs> so first she's putting in broken up treats, right? So it fits down in the pointy part. <laughs> Pixie's like, I help. I help. So we're gonna take then we're gonna take some pumpkin puree. Put it in the molds. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's covering the whole entire treat so that it gets in there. Right. I wonder if maybe we should um add a little yogurt or water or something to that to make it less thick. Pixie. Mm hmm. All right. So how's it going? So we covered <laughs> pretty much all of them. With mm. Pumpkin puree. Now we're gonna use peanut butter. And then what, can we also use some yogurt? Sure. All right. So it's been a couple hours, and they seem to be frozen. <laughs> so Chelsea wants to take them out um, because. Under warm water. Uh, yeah, you can run it under warm water to get it out. All right, we got out a container to put them in when we're done. Got some hot water going. You, you won't. It, I didn't put it on that hot. So, yeah, you gotta run it underneath. Wow. Are you sure? Oh, look, that one came undone already. You can see the white, like the white plastic where it came undone. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna get it on. The pops inside the popsicles either. Oh well, it's just it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we got some Mama Hill. There you go. We got them coming out. Got two out. These other ones I think need to be run under more water though. <laughs> All right, here is the plate. final product. Looks I'm pretty sure it'll be pixie it. approved. It definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's got the little tower popsicle in the middle. Well, she goes for the ones that she... Oh, there you go. Oh, All about that, that presentation, huh, Charles? She, yeah, so it's she probably... Got side first and the appetizer. I wondered if she would look course. it off the plate. That's funny. Now for the main course, she's had an appetizer, the appetizers. 
And now that's the main course, huh? Oh, no. Oh. Keep on the plate. <laughs> well, she licks it and it rolls off the plate. Keep it on the plate. Oh, oh, Plated. she's, yeah, she's going. Go, girl. She's chewing it's, the whole thing. She has to make sure that she likes it. I don't think she likes it. And then we're going to give her well, Halloween. Oh, well, she's got to wait for Halloween for the rest. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yep, she's she's working uh -oh. on it. Is no, she, no, 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 she likes it. Okay. It's just she's. She oh, and, very and she's no, oh, she's looking at all the way across the floor, leaving a trail of <laughs> pumpkin and peanut butter goo on the floors that I just cleaned. <laughs> so here is today's harvest: nine cherry tomatoes. Could have probably plucked a couple more, but I figure that's good enough. My little bowl in the fridge is still full, even though I keep eating a bunch every day. I keep picking a bunch every day. Um, this guy, I only picked it because it hasn't gotten any bigger and now it's got this weird, like, I don't know if you can see it, but like shriveling on the top and I wasn't sure what that was about. So I just went ahead and picked it cause I didn't want it to like turn rotten on me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it would do that. It's got these weird yellow things and then it's got like wrinkles all over it. So anyway, um, picked that and the tonight's dinner is our um, caprese sandwiches that we like and that had fresh tomatoes from the garden and it was amazing. Um, here's one of the tomatoes cut open. There's just something about homegrown tomatoes are so good. I've really been enjoying them and dinner was really yummy, so that's good too. Uh, I know some people had left some suggestion, suggestions in the comments about like canning or freezing the tomatoes. I might, I don't know, we'll see. Um, it felt good to give some to the neighbor. She really appreciated them. And they're just so good that we are, you know, eating them. It's just, I'm wondering if we'll be able to stay on top of it. I've got that big tomato. I've got these two back here. I've got that one and I've got, I think one in the fridge. And then there's like, I don't know, maybe five that are going to be ripe here pretty soon. So if we keep on top of it and keep on using them somehow, they'll be fine. And the neighbor that I gave tomatoes to brought me cucumbers. So these are the kind of cucumbers that I grew last year with her help. She gave me the plants and this is what she, some of what she got this year. So she did really well with cucumbers. I did really well with tomatoes and we live right next to each other. Doesn't make much sense. Look at this guy. It's an interesting shape. A lot of mine turned out, or the few that I have, turned out funny shaped. So anyway, we have some cucumbers. Not ones that I grew, they grew right next door, but we do have some. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're starting up a list of things to see if Pixie will eat them or not. Somebody suggested lemons in the comments. Someone suggested pickles. How about the stem of a cherry tomato? And someone said lettuce, which I Your think let. Rude. <laughs> uh, I think lettuce might be a little hard on there, like digestive. No. Whoa. Rejected. Whoa, well, it's like eating the leaf. It probably just doesn't taste very good. <laughs> <laughs> She just lummed it right out at you. Can I give her this green tomato? You can try. She's probably gonna spit that out too. It's not ripe, so it probably doesn't. Try it. Really? Oh no. She oh, no. Wants to search. Oh, she wants to search she's it. acting like she might eat it. And wrong end there, picks. Does she not like She doesn't like it. She's licking it. Almost like she's it's almost like she's playing with it. She keeps picking it up. She might be no, a tennis ball. she's like, I want, it's oh. right, it's right behind your foot, oh. your left you foot. Wait, can dogs have almonds? Mm, I think so. She just walked over and licked that stem and spit it back out again. <laughs> she like keeps trying. Like, well, maybe if I try it again, I'll like it this time. So she ate the ripe one, but she won't eat the green one. No. Huh. And she didn't like act weird at all about eating the ripe one. She no, just... it went right in and right down. <laughs> no Look at her. Not. She's begging for more. Wait, wait.